Kia ora. That means hello and welcome in New Zealand. I have my number line here. It actually has no digits on it. So I'm looking at these numbers I need to place on the number line. I have three tenths or three over 10 as a fraction, another fraction, one and a half. Some people say one and one half, it's the same. Three quarters, three quarters of one. Three fifths or three fifths of one, three fifths of one whole. 3.75, which the three on the left hand side of the decimal is the whole numbers. So three whole, whatever, three whole pizzas. The decimal point means and. Anything on the right hand side of the decimal point are the bits. Not enough to make a whole. In this case, we have 75 hundredths. So the three's in the one place, then we have the decimal point, meaning and, some bits, seven tenths and five hundred. So we'd actually say that 3.75 or three and 75 hundredths. So the first one I would place on the number line might be, I might do three quarters. I've got no digits here. So I would put zero here. And I'm looking for the biggest one. That's not a whole number. This is not a whole number. And this is not a whole number. So these numbers will fit between zero and one. So I'll just put a little, these ones are going to definitely become before one. This number, one and a half, or as a decimal, it's the same as saying 1.5, which is one and five tenths. This one's saying 3.75. Not, it's bigger than three, but it's smaller than four. So I will put four over here. Before I do that, anything else? I have zero and four. Half of four would be two. So I'd place whatever. If this number here was 9.75, I'd make this 10, because that's what it's gonna go up to or close to it. So whatever your, your biggest number is, you want to make sure you put that in there. So here, halfway between four is two. Halfway between zero and two would be one. And halfway between two and three would be four. So here's my number line, all set out, ready to go. First one I said, I will do three fourths. Three fourths of one. So three quarters of one, what I will now do, from zero and one, my denominator is telling me there's four bits that make up one whole. So four little pieces make up one whole, but I would want to find three fourths. So what I'll do, I'll find half of one, and a half of a half is a quarter. So now I can say this will be one fourth, this will be two fourths, this would be three fourths, and this would be four fourths. Because four fourths is one whole equal to one. So three fourths, get my ruler, make sure you get your ruler. Make it straight. Three fourths, it's going to go there. So here's three fourths, right there. So we've done that one. Nailed it. Three fifths. Ah, oh, three fifths. What does that mean? I then actually have to break up zero to one into five pieces. Hmm. All right, I'll do a different color. Go with blue. So five pieces. Again, you have to sort of work it out. I would say maybe this would be one, two, three, four, five. So this would be one fifth. Two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. Same as four foot, fourths. Four fourths, five fifths, three thirds. It all makes one whole. So here is three fifths, here's three fifths there. I'll join that one. 
Again, make sure you use a ruler. Nice and straight. Three fifths. It goes down there. Uh, got that one? Yep, yep. Three tenths. That means I have to break this up into ten bits. Okay, okay. So I will use, luckily, I know one, two, three, there's five, five, five fifths make one hole. So if I cut this in half each one, so it'll be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. So here is one tenth, two tenths, it's the same as one fifth, three tenths, four tenths, and so on. I can see up oh, three tenths here. I'll just, but you just want to finish that off. You want to actually complete the number line to make sure you got it right. Five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and ten tenths, which is the same as five fifths or four fourths. So that one, my purple goes here. So three tenths, three fourths, three fifths are less than one hole. Not enough to make one hole. Which leaves one and a half, which is quite easy because you've got one, it's going to be greater than one, smaller than two, halfway between one and two. That looks perfect. So that one goes just like that. Next one, 3.75. Now, if I knew um, how much 0.75 is, if I knew that as 0.25 is a quarter, 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 is a half, 0.75 is equivalent to three quarters. So my fractions and my decimals and my percentage, they're all connected together. If I know those basics, this isn't too difficult at all. The whole number, or the uh, the ones, is three. So three means I'm going to have to do. Hang on, what have I done here? What's Mr. Blair done? What has Mr. Blair done? He's gone zero, one, two, four, four. Something's wrong. I can't count. Let me just see what is. One, two, three, three. That should be three. That should be three. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking, was I? So let's make it a three. That fits better. One, two, so it has to fit between three and four. And luckily, what I could do, there are 10 tenths make one hole. So I could break this up into 10 bits. Half of 10 is five, so that'd be five there. 3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. So I'm just going to label these ones. So down here we 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.
Weißt du? Dann.